Guys, you can't like make this up. Things keep happening with Switch 2 seemingly every day over the last week. And today we have something that's not a rumor. This isn't a analyst talking. This isn't, you know, a reporter going out there and being like, oh, well, you know, I've heard this about Nintendo Switch 2, and I've heard that about Nintendo Switch 2, and maybe this game's coming to Nintendo Switch 2. No, 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 no. We actually have something really tangible for you, an actual manufacturing company that currently makes components for Switch had a financial briefing, and during that briefing, they talked about Nintendo's next system and what's happening and when they're making components, and this is really exciting stuff because, look, if you didn't know, when you go into mass manufacturing, the product is always going to end up releasing shortly thereafter, you know, usually within a six-month period. And you might go, well, Nate, six-month period, man, that the system still sounds like it's a far away as off. I mean, heck, if mass manufacturing is starting in, like, December, then, man, it might be summer, or maybe they just bank it up even more and they go all the way to holiday. What is going on? Oh, no, no, no. If you were hoping for this system to actually come first half and you want tangible proof, we have it for you today. So before I dive in, just want to remind you, we are on that road to 150,000 subscribers. So I'd appreciate if you would subscribe to the channel if you want to stay up to date on all the latest on Switch 2, Echoes of Wisdom, and all the other Nintendo goodness out there. And also, once you go down to the comments below and let me know what your favorite food is. In fact, let's go with the favorite dinner item specifically, the main course. What's your favorite dinner item? All right, we're going to go over here to Nintendo Universal first because this is where I originally saw the story. So I want to give credit to where I found the story, but we'll get to the original source as well. Both the original source and this will be linked down below, but it says Nintendo console component supplier mass production for the new model to begin next quarter. Now, notably, this is a <laughs> Brazilian website, so it's in Portuguese, translated to English, so things aren't going to be perfect here. Uh, but Taiwan-based semiconductor manufacturer, Welltrend Semiconductor, Inc., recently released its financial results and plans for the coming months. As reported by Money DJ, the company highlighted through a comment made by its CEO that orders involving video game consoles will recover in the third quarter, including initial shipments of new PlayStation 5, Xbox, and Nintendo Switch models. Taking into account that the three systems mentioned already have orders in progress, the mention of new models refers to new products from the three companies, Sony, Microsoft, and Nintendo, that are planned to be manufactured and assembled on a large scale over the next few months, starting in the quarter beginning in September. Now, they're actually a little off on that. Uh, Welltrend's third quarter actually begins in July. It's July, August, and September, but it's that's neither here nor there. I think he was trying to references to Nintendo's fiscal quarter, but Welltrend's fiscal quarters are a little different. Anyways, Welltrend Semiconductor is a contract manufacturer for Nintendo Supply, and they, oh, sorry, they supply the power delivery PD controller IC component, an integrated chip designed to manage communication and power control in systems that use USB power delivery USB PD standard used by the current Switch. In addition to the already expected successor to the Nintendo Switch, a PlayStation 5 Pro and a new version of the Xbox Series X are expected to be launched soon on the market, emphasizing the CEO's speech when he referred to the new models of each system mentioned. Now, Obviously, you know, we have to clarify all this and make sure that we're not being bamboozled. So let's go ahead and go over to Money DJ. They are a Chinese website. So again, we're relying on Google Translate, but you know what? It actually translates Chinese pretty well. Let's go ahead and over to this report where it says the two major growth drivers continue. Um, so it says Money DJ, uh, IC design company, We Quan Electronics, had a little briefing today and goes into who was talking. It was about CEO Lin Chang Tao. But if we go down, we're going to see some interesting stuff. Looking forward to the market outlook in the field of power management IC, Ling Chaotao said the game console application orders have rebounded since the third quarter. Now, the third quarter, again, remember, began in July, including introduction and shipment of new models of PlayStation 5, Xbox, and Switch, while personal computer applications have shown moderate growth and in the electronics industry driven by rising demand during the peak season sales are expected to increase. Now, the key thing is new 
models. So here's things that we have to consider here. Uh, one, at some point during this fiscal quarter that for them ends in September, they have begun mass production of components for those three companies for brand new models of systems. Now, we know the PlayStation 5 Pro is coming. There's been so many leaked documents about it, so much information out there. PlayStation 5 Pro is suspected to be announced next month at a PlayStation event that has yet to be announced, but people are, seem to be pretty sure about this. This is coming from a ton of reporters out there. And yes, we already had leaked you know, documents about new Xbox models on, on their way. So that seems to be coming as well. Probably, again, announced next month or even in October as like a surprise November drop or something. Or I say surprise, again, these systems have literally leaked and we have documentation for it. And it's kind of crazy that Sony and Microsoft both found ways to kind of fudge up what was probably supposed to be surprise announcements for the holidays. Now, the PlayStation 5 Pro is supposed to be a more powerful system, whereas the Xbox Series X is removing the disk drive. So there you have it, you know, it is what it is. Uh, that being said, we need to actually care about the Nintendo part of this because Nintendo isn't launching a new system this uh, coming up, right? The, the, the closest you could argue is they have that Switch Lite. But here's the thing, they just make power delivery components. Yeah, they were making those power delivery components this entire time. It wouldn't have, like, it's not a new model. Like, it's, 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 it's a new... Uh, special edition so like maybe people that make the shell that goes on the switch might see an increase in orders but uh, the, the power delivery components were coming either way so uh this seems to indicate a brand new switch model is coming now obviously it's not coming right now but the big idea is that if by the end of september nintendo's beginning mass production because well, this is what they care about right they're they're a company making components so they just care about the orders right they want that high order volume uh because that's where they make their money their money is made as soon as you know the contracts are signed the ink is dry and they start making components they don't really care you know when things are going to ship out to consumers it's very fascinating if you remember earlier this year Shintaro Furukawa was asked directly what he's going to do about scalping for the Nintendo Switch successor. And he basically said, well, we don't have any component shortages. We're not going to have any COVID-like issues. Oh, and by the way, uh, our way to combat scalpers is to just put so much product on the shelf that scalpers can't possibly win or make any real money. Uh, that is essentially Nintendo's strategy. Now, whether or not that works, I don't know. Is that just him talking out you know, one side of his mouth? I don't know. And here's what we're going to say about this, though. What we have here is an actual manufacturing company in their fiscal statement saying that they have orders, mass orders, for a brand new model of Switch. Mass orders of, obviously, the power delivery system for the Nintendo Switch successor. And that is very exciting because it means... Guys, if you were thinking Nintendo Switch 2 is holiday 2025, if you're still banking on 2026, this is direct evidence, direct proof. This isn't even a leak. I mean, maybe I put leak in the title. I don't even know what I titled this thing at the time that I'm recording. Uh, but it's not really even a leak. This is legitimately an announcement. They are announcing that. They are making these components, which is increasing their revenue for a new model of Switch. It's coming out in the first six months next year. I mean, I, I want to say that this is evidence that's coming out in March, <laughs> you know, mass production from September, you know, then October, November, December. You have mass production for like four months. Yeah, you would like think it's probably coming out in March and maybe it is. But then we have those words from Furukawa where he says he wants to have so much product on the shelf that maybe they have a slightly longer than usual mass manufacturing period. And so then they release it in April or May or something like that so they can have an extra million or two systems laid around at launch to try to combat, especially you know, you're shipping worldwide, to just combat all that scalping. So this is why I do what I do here. I like to get hyped. I like to get excited, guys, because this is, this is no more beating around the bush. This is not a rumor. This isn't a rumor. This isn't a guess. This isn't a forecast, and you know what? Let me know down below if you would like me to make a forecast video for Nintendo where I project, you know, kind of like an analyst does. I make my own projection. I'm not a financial analyst, by the way, and none of my advice will be considered uh, something that you should be investing your money on, but it would be interesting, I think, to make a video where I'm forecasting, like, 
All right. When is the Nintendo Switch 2 going to release? When are they going to reveal it? Oh, but beyond all that, also, how many units will it sell during its launch month? And, hey, how many in its first fiscal year? How many Switches? Do we think it's going to be that 13 and a half, or do I have a different projection for Nintendo? How many copies of Echoes of Wisdom do I think are going to sell by the end of the fiscal year? What about copies of Jamboree? You know what I mean? Like having a kind of fun video that where I put out a bunch of projections. And then we just, I don't know, six months from now, a year from now, look back at that video and just check in and see how I did. See if uh, the old Nate the Analyst should maybe be changing careers and working for one of these uh, security companies giving out financial advice, which... I absolutely should not be doing that, even if I did get all my predictions right. Anyways, that might be a fun video for the future. But right now, I'm just excited because mass manufacturing of Nintendo Switch 2 is beginning before the end of the year. That's really the story here. Uh, regardless of them getting the fiscal quarter wrong, it doesn't start in September. It starts in July. It doesn't matter. The point is, Nintendo's going to have a shitload of Nintendo Switch 2s ready to go for launch, whether it's March, whether it's April, May, June, whatever month it is in that first half. It's clearly going to happen then. They're not going to sit there and just buy up warehouse space and sit on 15, 20 million units and launch this thing in the holiday of 2025. That's just not... That, that, that's not reasonable, right? Nintendo might think the Switch 2 is going to be a mega success, but remember, they thought the Wii U was as well. You still don't want to have that much product just sitting in a warehouse, eating into your margins, uh, and with no guarantee that you can actually sell it all. I would say it's a pretty safe bet you could sell it all, but I bet you they thought the same thing with Wii U, uh, and imagine if they had 15 million of those sitting on a shelf, they wouldn't have even sold them all. <laughs> so... Anyways, guys, I'm Nathaniel Robojets from Nintendo Prime. I want to thank you guys so much for being here. Let me know what you think about this story down in the comments below because I'm just so excited. We have actual, tangible, it's not even proof. It's, not, it's literally an announcement that we now know Nintendo Switch 2 will be entering mass production, if not right now, next month, throughout the rest of the year. This is exciting stuff, folks. Thank you so, so much for being here. I am Nathaniel Robojets from Nintendo Prime, and I'll catch each and every one of you in the next video.